Hey guys, how's it going? I know you're probably thinking, hmm, we really thought that you were BSing us again, Kelly, with the last, oh sorry, um, with the last vlogs that I did, because I shot two in a row, I think. Um, I need to find different hoops. I'm gonna have to go to Kohl's. You might also know that I'm, or notice, excuse me, that I'm not wearing workout clothes. Again, what's up with that? Um, I've told you guys, and you're probably gonna see me, or hear me, or both, if we're talking about videos. Um, talking a lot about Kohl's. I became obsessed with them last summer, and now uh, they're working with Fitfluential, but um, I just really was having a frustrating time the past couple of years, really, because before founding Fitfluential, I used to wear, I guess, more suits uh, years ago, and then more, you know, business, um, not business formal, business casual clothes. Uh, but I have found that the past couple of years with running this business, a lot of my meetings, you know, my clients will tell me, oh, we just wear jeans and we wear casual clothes. And I spend a lot more time in workout clothes and so on. So my wardrobe was just <laughs> diminishing. And then I found that for my personal taste, you know, again, you guys, I'm 45. I'm not 22, clearly. And I'm not trying to look like I'm trying to be 22. So there comes a point when you're 45 and you don't want to be wearing your Ann Taylor business clothes, right? Um, there's, a, there's a place for that. But if you want to wear casual clothes, like Forever 21 it is cool for getting like tank tops and stuff. But I'm not looking to go buy a pair of shorts that I can hold up like this and, you know, fit into my phone case. Um, I was really having problems finding clothes that didn't make me look like Barbara Bush and didn't make me look like I was trying to look like Christina Aguilera back when she was 19. Um, I found a lot of stuff that I love at Kohl's. Um, me also branching out and not wearing solids only most of my life. I've just always done solids, only solids, unless I wear um, leopard print. Leopard print and uh, you know zebra print or anything like that I've always loved. But, so it was a big deal uh, because I'd been pinning a lot of outfits with plaid shirts that I got this and then I got a pink one at Kohl's. Ah, I should have told you, hopefully if I remember when I put this video up, I'll put the links to it. But um, I'm trying to think of the brand name. Anyway, so these are from Kohl's. These, are, these earrings are not from Kohl's, but they have so much great jewelry there. And I'm starting to wear hoops again, so I'm definitely gonna pick some up so that they don't end up like that. That gets on my last nerve. Uh, maybe I need you know sizes that are just a little bit smaller than this. Anyway, so hello, it is um, Friday, um, and I'm pleased to report, you know, <laughs> I'm not coming back at you after I did that. Oh, I'm so excited, everything's gonna be different, and then here I am a week later going, I sucked. No, it's been the first um, kind of full week of the new year, and I am proud to say um, that I'm feeling really good about the changes that I'm making. Still need to get my bangs trimmed. But it has been, just like last year, the first week or so, of January, bitter, bitter, bitter cold outside, horrific wind chills. I think they said the with a wind chill, it's like minus 35, something of that nature. I'm keeping an eye on the clock, forgive me, because I've got a call in 20 minutes. Um, just let me pause for a moment and pour my tea. You see this? This is the, um, of course, I'm still doing what I always do, which is branching off into 17 different topics, but that's pretty much never gonna change. Um, the ladies at Naked Me Tea, look them up, nakedmetea.com. They have, um, they have <laughs> detox tea that when I did that 10 day uh, green smoothie detox, which now that I'm thinking about it, I did that when I still wasn't vlogging, so I'll tell you guys about that later. Wait a second, I think maybe I mentioned that in my last two videos, about how much it changed my tastes for things. I actually drink a lot more green tea, but this was this cute little, it might look like, <laughs> as I hold this up, I'm realizing it kind of looks like sewer water right now. <laughs> but what it is, is you put your loose tea leaves in here, either this, I'm using the Naked Me Tea, they have a Boost Me for the morning, they have a Cleanse Me for the evening, and then this is the um, Gen Ma Cha or Sa, I don't know, from Sugimoto USA. So you put your tea leaves in there and then you add your water, you let it sit for a few minutes, and then you place this on the top of any cup. Now notice, this does not fit on here, but it doesn't matter because as long as you have most of it in there, oh look, 
My tea is going in to the cup, my favorite Tahoe cup. Okay, so this little thing on the bottom, it pushes up and then that releases the water. And then what's left, even though it looks kind of brown to you guys, this is my tea leaves and I'm making a mess on my counter. Un momento. Um, so, let's see what I do for you guys. Um, I'm just trying to see if I have my, but you know I'm not gonna not wipe that up because I'm OCD. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, okay. Okay, the counter's all cleaned up. Um, yeah, so the first week of this year, it's been bitter cold. Um, I mean, bitter, bitter cold. And even when, you know, when they give you guys, when you have a winter weather advisory and they're like, it's advisable to not go outside. Um, you can get frostbite in two minutes or something like that. I am thinking, I mean, yeah, my gym is, um, literally like three or four minutes away, but still there's something about some of the times I've walked outside to feed the birds. Um, it, it's brutal. So I've decided to do my, uh, my workouts at home. Um, so first week, here's what I, what I did accomplish, um, in changing my habits and my processes and it's made a difference. Now, um, I certainly will be recording and of course I didn't bring it out here. Um, in, the, in my planners, because um, one is a 90 day planner and one's the whole year planner. But I'll be recording, you know, that, that this week, what I didn't do was, I would say going to the gym was a goal, but I wasn't getting in my yoga in the evenings. Um, there still is something to be said, like, you know, I, I'm hoping that I can, with hiring, make an, make an impact on not working until eight or nine at night. Because when I, when I work that long, um, I just get to the end of the day and I'm, I'm just kind of physically and mentally drained. And even though yoga is so therapeutic for me, sometimes even doing that, I'm like, oh, I just want to take my Epsom salt baths and read and go to bed. Um, but what I did um, do well this week was A, getting up earlier. So I'm setting my alarm to start off with at 6.30, um, hoping to slowly ease that back. but. It only took about a day or so of, of setting that alarm and now I'm automatically, even though I have the alarm set, my body is waking up naturally at like six. One day I got up at five, which was unsettling. Um, so I'm getting up earlier. Um, when I wake up, I put my workout clothes on. I do not come in here. Of course I come in my kitchen because I make one cup of coffee. I don't turn on my computer. I do not turn this computer on or the computer in my office or check emails on my phones or anything until I've done my workout. If I'm doing my workout at home, it'll be, you know, do your workout, go get a shower, do all of this if I'm gonna, you know, get remotely glam for the day. Um, that all has to be done. Then I come in here, I get my books that I read um, for my devotions. I do my devotions, my prayer, my meditation, and then I have my breakfast. And then I let myself turn this on. And then the first part of the day, a big part of the day that's helped me too, is keeping my personal gmail.com just shut off. So don't check personal email. Um, I'm not getting on Facebook or Twitter. I do my news reading just in the morning. Um, and then I dive into my work instead of feeling like I have to do it all at once. So um, definitely made some changes. Please stop texting me. Um, Definitely made some changes. Probably one of the biggest um, changes I'm gonna be making and sticking to it and really focus, focusing on this is, I remember it was a pin on Pinterest that I saw, but I know it's been in several books and it's just, you know, certainly no, nothing unique to say. But, you know, learning to say no and not explaining yourself. One of my, my biggest problems that has caused me stress and anxiety is I have so many people <laughs> that want to talk, I mean, pe people that are texting me, usually when I'm sending this video, they're texting me, they're asking when they can talk, they want a meeting, it's just, it's constant. Now, I don't want to sound like an arrogant tool bag and going, oh, I'm so busy, everybody wants to talk to me. It's just, it is what it is. Um, you see what I mean, can you hear that? It's like, my God, um, put a sock in it. But um, it's just constant, and sometimes what's frustrating too, it's time to just turn this down. See, I had this on vibrate before. 
and I was like, oh, I should put on vibrate, I don't hear. No, it's good that I don't hear. Um, but sometimes I get to the end of my day, you know, it'll be like, I'll have worked till six or... I just turned this down. And why is it giving me a notification? Good Lord. Um, it's like, it's alive. Um, but I get to the end of my day, like six or seven, and it's just a lot. Sometimes I'm on a massive deadline. Yesterday, I had to move all of my appointments for a last minute client request, and I worked on it all day. Some of these things will change in the future. We're bringing on people that can do a lot of the stuff that I have to do myself like that. But um, it's intense and it's just training. And then I get to six or seven, and usually I remember one day, I was talking to my man friend about this. I'm like, you know, I walk in my kitchen, and all I wanna do is like have some sushi and sit down and you know just zone out and just watch TV or start reading my book. And immediately, like six people start texting me. And so many of the people are people that are important to me that I need to talk to, but certainly I don't wanna to talk to them at eight o'clock at night. And they also only, they think they're the only people in my life. And it is the most frustrating thing ever that people just don't understand. I, I, can't, I can't talk to people all day. I can't be on call all day. I, I do have stuff. And I, I just have stuff to do, and I, it has been very difficult for me. And obviously, you can tell by how worked up I get. It's been really difficult for me to say no to people. Um, I have to learn to do that better. So I've made some progress this week. I feel really good about it. What I'm feeling good about is learning to say no and be okay with it, learning to not obsess over chasing everybody down and pleasing them, um, and fitting time in for me. So um, I give myself a thumbs up already. Of course, here I am 12 minutes, looking at the time going, what did I just talk about? But at least I did. I talked about you know the, the things that I've done this week that made a huge difference. Um, it just made a difference too, you guys. I realize now that when I'm getting up, I'm getting up earlier, it feels great because to get so much done by nine um, is awesome. But then number two, the fact that I haven't looked at my emails, the fact that I haven't turned this on, it just kind of makes the whole workout and then my, when I read my books and I have my prayer and my meditation, my mind is not jumbled. And, and that means I'm starting my day off in a better state of mind too. So change is good. Um, I will be shooting more videos. One of the things I'm gonna be doing next I thought of this actually earlier this morning was to make a schedule. I used to roll my eyes and laugh about people that go, do you schedule what you're going to write on your blog? But it's like, I come in here and I think of all the things I have to cover with you guys and then I think, you know what, it would be nice for me to say, maybe every other day I'll shoot videos and then when I shoot videos I'll have a schedule. This is what I'm covering instead of getting in here and going, oh, see? I'm becoming aware, I'm becoming aware of what stresses me out, why I then avoid it, and what I can change about it. Pretty simple, guys. Um, did my, what did I do this morning for cardio? I did um, TurboFire, I think? TurboFire, um, HIIT workout, and then tonight I will uh, do kettlebells and bands in my bedroom, because I'm not going to the gym tonight. It's Friday, I'm gonna do that early, and then I have plans. So I will see you guys um, manana, bye.